big old coming to you from Harlem. This whole week is the Harlem week. We're on 135th Street. As you can see, there's a lot of market going on, a lot of African wares, books.
<laughs> For what? Ain't no more school. Ain't no more classes. We done. We gone. What's going on? about this industry. You gotta have consideration. Anyway, this is Orlando McAllister, Howard University, 1971, electrical engineering, one of the pioneers in computer science. And then I transferred to City College, ran with a while in 1985, right up in the hill, where he did his law internship. I'm here with a face that's very familiar to me. Can you introduce yourself to the audience, please? My name is Vi Higginson, and I'm the executive director for the Mama Foundation for the Arts and the School of the Gospel Jazz and R&B Arts in Harlem, USA. Did you say jazz? Jazz. I play flute. I've been playing flute for the last 40 years. Yeah, bebop. Oh. Gordon Alexander, who was a tennis player, took me how to sign up. Oh, wow. Yeah. Because I used to hang out with a lot of artists from the other city college. Yeah. So, so, how do you feel all the week is going so far? Well, I love it. I love the people. I love the music. I love the energy. I love the products. I love the enthusiasm. I love Harlem, and I love Harlem week. So, do you live in Harlem? Did you I live in Harlem. We're on the same block that I was born on. Oh We've been on the same block in Harlem for almost 100 years. Oh my goodness. That's like three generations, right? That's right. Wow. So, are you part of the planning committee for this event? The planning committee? I'm not on the planning committee, but I'm very close to the people who make it happen. Right, right. So, so with the proliferation of podcasting, let me ask that again. With the proliferation of podcasting and internet radio, what do you think is going to happen to stations such as BLS that, that already has a call number? Well, do you think I still think, survive? I think the radio will always survive. There'll be people who will always want to listen to radio, and then there will be people who want to stream radio or listen to it on their computer or telephone. So there'll be a mix of all. So, so because the technology has advanced so rapidly, where and the broadband spectrum has increased, we need more content. Well, we need more content and we need more relevant content. We need more important content. We need more guidance and direction and we need more talk where we can talk to people about things that are important to them in their lives. Okay, will you give a shout out to Orlando Watts and also to Roger uh, P. Henson? Uh, Roger P. Henson, I give you a shout out. But she has a foundation too. Yes. For the mentally ill. Oh, how wonderful. It's, yeah, it's going to be in D.C. Too. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. We do music. We do everything music. And what it does, it also helps people mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. That was part of the That's program. the importance of the music. That was part of the program. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a card, and I'm going to give you a link to Taraji in case you want to go to the event in June. All right, thank you. It's a weekend. All right, this thank is you. This is Orlando McAllister signing on. It's a pleasure. All right, this is Orlando McAllister reporting for WACO TV. I'm here at the Harlem Festival on 135th Street, and guess who I ran into? Does anybody know who this is? If you didn't know, it's Lenny Matthews. How you doing, Lenny? Hello, how you doing? How's everything? Good, good. Are, good. You, are you out here as a broadcast journalist? No, I'm just out here to, well, to root for a friend who's in a fashion show, and, um, and I'm making, doing, making my rounds. What do, you, what do you know about the history of Harlem? Who, who might have started it? What started a long time ago? It did. I remember when um, I got involved with it, actually, in, in 1986. Is that right? Yes. I had a young lady who was a beauty queen, and uh, we had tried, we tried, I was working with her for the year, I'd find some, some things for her to do, and I, I posted her Harlem Week people, and um, I had to make a little, make a little speech. That time it was on 125th Street okay. and 135th Street. So it, it was limited. The perimeter was limited. No, no, no. It was wide. Oh, okay. Right. So who came up with the idea? Is, is any pioneer attributed? I to can't it? think offhand. I think it was mostly generally the Harlem Chamber of Commerce. I met a lot of people through there. One of them was uh, well, Marco Nobles. He's a gentleman, he's a real gentleman, class gentleman. 
and also too many make announcements all the time and either tell you get their t-shirts and it was the make charlie pope i miss him so much it's a big name huh huh big name it was a big name it was a big name well big name to me and everybody else but he he kept he he was mr halloween i'm not knocking nobody else now but I always remember Charlie Moore. So a lot, of, a, a, lot, a lot of this, this event, right? It wasn't Adam Clinton Powell that started it. Huh? Excuse me? It wasn't Adam Clinton Powell that started it. Or had something to do with this. That came after the, the I, father? I really don't know. I can't answer that. Okay. okay. I know that the Harlem Chamber of Commerce uh, is at Bob, where they, they bring a lot of people from the media, the general media. In fact, this past week I saw something in people something that people don't read too often newspapers. I haven't seen in the daily news about you know about the events and everything. So Lenny, I'm gonna give you a little advertisement here. Yeah. 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 Can you promote your show and what is about? Well the LMS show we've been on for about mm, about this is my 40th season now. Is that right? 40? 40, 40 plus. So for those folks that are out there that don't know the industry too well and the various tape formats that exist, back in the day, what did you shoot on and where did you go to shoot your shows? Well, I started in Manhattan and we had three quarter shapes. I started in Manhattan, I started in Manhattan by 1979 through 1992 and 93. That's when this, the cable companies ran it at that time. Okay. Um, it wasn't the, well, excuse me, especially, the city wasn't running, okay? Okay. And, um, well, one thing for sure, I was determined to survive. And that was about it. And they switched everything over. Right, right. So, the format, so you were dealing with tapes back then? We were dealing with three, four inch tapes, beta, half inch, cassettes. Now, you know, you got the digital, you know, we're going, you know, the LMS shows in the next couple of years. Well, we're working on it now. The shows that we do now, they, they're digital. So that means anybody in the world can see the whole half hour show. They don't have to wait for a cable company to uh, to, to, you know, to put it on. So, so, so you have, you have, you have your own uh, YouTube channel? Can you, let, can you let my audience know what it is? It's, you, uh, it's www.youtube.com slash Lenny B. Matthews. Lenny B. Matthews. Yes. All right. So hopefully we'll get the word out and you'll get some more viewers and your subscription will go up, okay? Oh, yes. Well, I thank you so much. Thank you, Lenny. You're welcome.